Coffee talk was held this morning at 8 a.m. for open discussion. The discussion was between parents and district leaders. One of the district leaders who was present was Superintendent Dr. Jeremy Lyon. From a um, community public relations standpoint, um, you know, we're so big, right? We've got 56,000 students and 68 campuses. And so strategically, you try to look for different ways to get your community involved and different ways for you to be able to communicate with the community. So emails and newsletters and newspaper articles and board meetings and public forums and all of those things are fine, but you're always looking for different ways of communication. And so one of them, uh, this is the third year, were these opportunities to just come and have a conversation, have a cup of coffee and talk about anything you want to talk about. And so I really like them because they're not scripted, they're not, there's no agenda. I don't do anything other than say, good morning, we're going to finish in an hour, let's keep the topics moving so nobody dominates any on one topic and what's on your mind? That's how I always started off, what's on your mind? Misinformation during discussion will furthermore be addressed. It, uh, it starts with an assumption, and it is a bit of an assumption, that there is a truth, right? There's a singular truth regarding uh, the way the school district does this or that, or uh, let's say that it's something that happens on a uh, volleyball court, right? Um, you know, there's a truth out there. It can be recorded a lot of times. It can be um, observed a lot of times. But in the world we live in, we, we understand that people's beliefs are beliefs. And therein lies the problem is that we have crossed the line where people now take their beliefs and they represent them as truths. So you've got to sort it out. And, and the question is, what is a belief that you hold and what is actually a truth in the world that we live in? And boy, that's, that's a mess right now. It's a complete mess.